Since the release of Damien Chazelle's latest film, Babylon, it has been the main topic of conversation among cinephiles. Some hate it, others loved it, and some also think the film is a very mixed bag. I think the reason behind Babylon's extremely divided reception from cinephiles and critics alike is simply because the movie is sorely misunderstood. On the outside, Babylon looks like a historical fiction film about Hollywood's silent era transitioning to the talkies. But I believe Damien Chazelle is hiding a secret metaphor within Babylon that when examined closer is revealed to be hiding in plain sight. In this video, I will analyze and explain the many pieces of evidence that have led me to conclude that Babylon is an expose of the current state of Hollywood in the 2020s. I urge you to watch this video all the way through from beginning to end as it will let you fully understand my conclusion. The first piece of evidence we see within Babylon is when Manny is delivering the elephant to the mansion party near the beginning of the film. A police officer stops the truck and asks if Manny has a permit, which he replies saying he doesn't. The officer makes an exception, letting them through, in exchange for him being added to the guest list. I believe this scene was included to comment on the many quid pro quos in modern Hollywood. This one might just be a bunch of conjecture on my part, but I definitely think there is something there. The next piece of evidence comes later in the film when Nellie Leroy has made it on the production scene of Kinoscope Pictures. She has been selected to replace another actress who OD'd at the mansion party the previous evening. While on set, Nellie steals the show from the silent film's lead actress played by Samara Weaving. This is a very strong piece of evidence because this actually happened in reality. When Margot Robbie arrived in Hollywood, she stole the show from Samara Weaving, an actress who has a very similar physical appearance to her. I don't believe this was included in the film just as a funny joke. I I think Chazelle included it on purpose as a clue for the audience to realize that he was using Babylon as a metaphor for modern Hollywood. Okay, before we go on, why the heck are 99% of you not subscribed? You obviously like my content enough to click on this video, so why not click one more time on that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my future uploads. Alright, back to the video. Another piece of evidence is the inclusion of Olivia Hamilton's character. She plays a young female director for Kinoscope Pictures named Ruth Adler. The reason I think this is evidence of Babylon's metaphor for 2020's Hollywood is because there weren't really any female directors working in big-time productions at that point in Hollywood's history like there are today. So I'm led to believe this is yet another clue. Now we arrive at the political evidence. While traveling in the back of Nellie Roy's personal vehicle, Manny tells her that his family crossed the border when he was 12. Now, for one, Damien Giselle chose those words very specifically for this scene. Notice he did not use the word immigrated, he chose to write the words cross the border. This implies that Manny had been an illegal alien all this time. While there were Mexican immigrants during this time period, the illegal aliens were few and far between. Once again, this leads me to believe Chazelle included this to comment on the huge population of over half a million illegal aliens currently residing in Los Angeles. The second piece of political evidence takes place when Sidney Palmer, a black trumpet player who has transitioned to acting in films, attends a formal party among other big Hollywood names. Sidney sits down on a couch and is quickly swarmed by many Hollywood executives saying how they just love seeing Sydney being in so many Negro pictures. This makes Sydney leave soon thereafter since it makes him quite uncomfortable. I think it's pretty obvious that Damien Giselle has included this scene to critique modern white liberals' obsession with black individuals in movies. Last but not least, the strongest piece of evidence comes in the form of Babylon's content. Those who have seen the film know of its graphic depictions of hedonism, alcoholism, orgies, debauchery, drugs, and display of degenerate sexual fetishes, all of which are depicted to stem from Hollywood's elite. The main problem here, though, is that these activities were not rampant in 1920s Hollywood, and Hollywood wasn't even close to that level of immorality at that time. So why would Chazelle write this into Babylon? It makes no sense for them to be included, unless, of course, Chazelle is using the 1920s as a metaphor for Hollywood in the 2020s, which is what I believe he is doing. There's much more evidence I could get into here, such as Jack Conrad's monologues about saving cinema, but I'll leave it here and let you guys discover it for yourselves. So what do you think? Am I crazy or am I onto something? Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.